Hey, Tim. What did you have for dinner tonight? Stop. You had pasta, you had spaghetti. That song by Louis Prima is one of my favorites because he said, I eat antipasta twice just because she is so nice, Angelina. He's I, like I really love We don't hear songs but, like that much on St. Patrick's Day, but I still <laughs> like pasta. That's music I love to, to, listen, to listen to when I'm cooking pasta, when I'm cooking spaghetti. We're seeing some questions online about spaghetti plots. What in the world is a spaghetti plot? And it is something uh, a lot of forecasts, a lot of meteorologists use, meteorologists use to get better answers and forecasts particularly for tropical systems. Now I can tell you, when I was younger than you, <laughs> spaghetti you ate, you know? And, uh, be, and the reason is because we didn't have that many models. Yeah. I can totally understand now why people call it spaghetti. There's a bunch of noodles up there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there is more science than just throwing a noodle on the wall. Exactly. And so these computer models, the spaghetti plot is, we'll show, we'll show some right now. Basically, they look like the bunch of, like Tim was talking, a bunch of noodles, a bunch of lines. And what they are are these computer modules that are taking current information from a tropical system. In this instance, and say the, say the word, it gives me a chill. They're doing billions of differential equations. Yes, and they're spitting, <sighs> and they're spitting out an answer. I had a hard time with that. Cool. <laughs> well, you listen to a lot of Led Zeppelin when you're doing that. That might That's have been true. why. True. But they spit out an answer. So um, as the storm is changing its current observation, its current conditions, the the equation is always going to be changing. Therefore, the spaghetti models are always going to be kind of fluctuating and changing a and little bit. And we know that that no one particular model is perfect. We know that. Yes. But it's almost like if you can get 10 pretty smart people into a room, they might be able to figure something out that maybe one person by themselves can't. And in other words, they're looking at different angles. And that's how I look at these computer models. None of them are perfect, but if we get a bunch of them together, maybe we can get a consensus out of that. Which is where the longer range um, ideas come into play. When we go ways, ways out and we see a big spread in the spaghettis and the noodles, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of ifs. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And but you know what, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I mean, thing. we like to get the answers, but, but I think what you're saying is, we go, okay, for instance, with, with Dorian, right now they're pretty clustered through the northern Bahamas. And so we could go, okay, we're confident about that part of the forecast, but then the noodles spread out. Yeah. And it's too bad, but at least then we go, look, we're not confident about that part. Yeah. Hopefully we will. Yeah. And we'll see that consensus. And now forward. there may be some more indications that, you know, um, the storm on that northerly track, there are going to be more indications that that may be on the eastern side of Florida, but there's still a lot of ifs with the, with the forecast. So just know if you're looking at a spaghetti, model in a plot it's not showing you any other impact or anything outside of just the future location of, of a, that of exact that, center of that exact yeah. center exactly. so keep that in mind that spaghetti while well, i love spaghetti i don't necessarily like spaghetti plots because they don't include all the impacts but they do a good um they give us a good indication of where the center of the exact storm may be going so yeah so there you go. There you go. We'll keep you guys posted. That's three minutes on spaghetti plots and spaghetti. Hope you're not too, too hungry. Um, we'll keep you guys posted through the thick of the storm.